Lux presents Hollywood. Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, bring you the Lux Radio Theater, starring Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. William Keel. Holiday greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. I trust you've all had a perfect Christmas. Wonderful presents, uh, too much dinner, and lots of merry company. But sometime during the day, I'm sure you've said, Christmas really belongs to the children. And so, before they have to leave their toys and cowboy suits, we want to tell them a story. And you'll want to listen, too, because it's The Wizard of Oz, one of those wonderful Oz books that we've all loved since they were written by L. Frank Baum 50 years ago. metro golden Mayor turned The Wizard of Oz into a screen classic and a lovely little singer into a star, one of the most talented stars of Hollywood, Judy Garland. Audiences have asked her to be brought back again and again to be entranced by Judy's performance and those fascinating Oz characters. The Scarecrow, the Tin Woodsman, the Cowardly Lion, and the delightful little people, the Munchkins. Now it's off to The Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland as Dorothy. <laughs> This is the story of a girl named Dorothy, who lives with her aunt and uncle on a farm way out in Kansas. Her dearest friend is her dog, Toto. But Dorothy has other friends, too. The farmhands, for instance. Zeke and Hunk and Hickory. Hey, what's your hurry, honey? What's wrong? Toto, Hickory, Toto. Toto, something wrong with that dog? Well, he looks fine to me. Well, he, he is, Zeke, but he almost wasn't. Miss Gulch hit him just because he gets in her garden and chases her nasty old cat. Oh, sure, honey, sure. Only we're busy, see? I got them hogs to get in. Now, look, Dorothy, you just ain't using your head about that mean old Miss Gulch. You'd think you didn't have a brain at all. Hunk, I have so got brains. Well, you're the man. When you're walking home with Toto, just keep away from Miss Gulch's place. Your head ain't made of straw, you know. Gosh, Dorothy, that Miss Gulch ain't nobody to be afraid of. Have a little courage, that's all. Courage, Steve? Why, sure. You know, like like me. Well, look who's talking. You, courage. There ain't a man in the county who scares easy than you. <laughs> well, well, uh, that's a fine thing to say. Look out, Steve, that pig's gonna bite you. Well, what pig? Help, help! <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> now, cut that. <laughs> Scaring a man half to death like that. Here now, here. What's all this jabber weapon when there's work to be done? It's about Toto, Eddie. And Miss Gulch says she's going to go and get the sheriff. And then... I thought it's... you and Hickory were supposed to be fixing that wagon. Oh, we are, Miss Gale. Hammer that ranch, Hickory. And feed them hogs eat before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Now then, child, what's your trouble? Auntie Em, really, do you know what Miss Gulch said she was going to do to Toto? She said she was going to... There you go again, imagining things. You know, you always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Oh, but Miss Tony... Now, you just help us all out this afternoon. Find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. i got to get back in the house. Yes, Auntie Em. <sighs> Come on, Toto. <laughs> Do you suppose there is such a place, Toto, where there isn't any trouble? There must be. Not a place you can get to by a boat or a train, but it's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. Somewhere. That you dare to 
Miss Gar, surely you don't mean that. Why, that little that dog dog's just... a menace to the community. I'm taking that animal to the sheriff to make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Oh, no, no, please. You, you must have. Uh, uh, honey, uh, uh, we didn't know you were there. Toto didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one who ought to be punished, Uncle Henry. I let him go in her garden. There's a law protecting folks against animals like that. No, no, please. Well, we can't go against the law, Doris. Now you're being smart. Give him to me. No. I won't let you take him. I won't. You're a witch, a wicked old witch. Doris? Oh, please, Annie. M, please. Oh, I got him at last. And there's nothing any of you can do about it. Now, oh, come on, Dorothy. Cheer up, honey. Please, Doris. I don't feel like talking. Not to anybody. Not even to Toto? Oh, you know he's gone. You know Miss Gulch took him away. I know something else, too, honey. Toto must have jumped out of her basket and run back home because there's a little brown and white dog looking all over for you. Oh, oh Toto. Toto, you're back. Toto, Toto. You came back to me, Toto. Oh, I thought you were dead. I... I... They'll be coming after you. Miss Gulch and the sheriff, maybe. We've got to run away. Now, Toto, where no one will ever find us or it'll take you away again. Yes, Toto, we've got to run away. It's getting dark, Toto. I... I think maybe there's a storm coming. But we'll just keep going, won't we? We're not afraid. It's it's just like Zeke said. Courage. I see what you mean. A wagon. A horse in the wagon and, and a man. And there's a big sign on the wagon. Wait, I think I can see what it says. Professor Marvel. Acclaimed by the crown heads of Europe. Let him read your past, present, and future in his crystal. Well, who might you be? Uh, I guess it's all right, Toto. He he looks like a nice man. Well, if you're not going to tell me who you are, suppose I tell you. But how can you? <laughs> Professor Marvel knows all tells all. Your past, present, and future for 25 cents, a quarter of a dollar. Uh, two bits, if you prefer. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can afford it. Oh, so your name's Dorothy, is it? How did you know that? Well, on the one hand, perhaps I saw you in my crystal, and on the other hand, perhaps a fellow named Zeke passed by a while ago looking for you. Oh, 
I see. Uh, but don't you think for one minute I couldn't have figured it out for myself why Professor Marvel and his magic crystal have amazed royalty and peasantry alike the world over? Oh, please, Professor, can't we go with you and see all the crowned heads of Europe? Oh, do you know any? Uh, oh, uh, you, you, you mean uh, the sign on my wagon? I, I don't suppose you could take just a... A little look in your magic crystal for me. For nothing, I mean. Matter of fact, young lady, I already have. Oh, just practicing, you understand. And you know what I saw? What? A woman. Tears in her eyes. Chair worn. A woman looking for someone. And her name is... Uh... Uh, Auntie M? Kindly allow me to supply the answers. Her name is Auntie M. Someone has almost broken her heart. Me? Well, someone she loved very much. And then just before the crystal went dark, I, I saw her put her hand over her heart and drop, drop down on the floor. Oh, no. No. You don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Oh, I, I've got to go home right away. Go home? I thought you were going along with me. Oh, but I've got to get to her right away. Toto, come on, Toto. We're going to... Goodbye, Professor, and thank you. Don't waste any time. There's a windstorm blowing up. Oh, poor little kid. Hope she gets home all right. through the sky, barns and buggies, and there goes our chicken roost. Toto, we're caught in the cyclone. We're right up inside the middle of the cyclone. But, but there's old Mr. Gallagher in his rowboat. Mr. Gallagher! Howdy, Miss Garth. It's time to breathe, ain't it? And Uncle Henry Pepper. Bossy! Bossy! I, I don't understand this at all. Things are flying around so fast that I can... I can... Look! Miss Goat! <laughs> now she's on a broomstick. She is a witch. Don't worry, Toto. I won't let her... We stop moving, Toto. We're standing still. But we can't stand still up in the middle of the air. We're going to fall. We are falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. <laughs> But where? Where are we? Oh, it's a regular little village. And look, houses and streets and trees and fountains. Yes, you're quite right. That is our house over there. We must have bounced out when we landed. But what place is this? I have a feeling we're being watched. I have another feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Well, we must be over the rainbow. Toto, look. There's a big bubble coming down the street. Uh, and there's someone inside it. A lady. And she's stepping out of it. Oh, now I know we're not in Kansas. Tell me, please. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Me? Oh, I'm, I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Oh. Well, I am a little muddled. The munchkins just summoned me because it... Munchkins? You happen to be standing in the very center of their village, you know. And uh, they sent for you? Because some new witch has just dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. See? Over there. Oh, but that's our farmhouse from, from Kansas. Now look where I point my wand. <gasps> two red slippers. Exactly. Two red slippers protruding from under the farmhouse. All that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. And since it's your farmhouse, obviously you're responsible Oh, you've made the munchkin very happy, my dear. If, uh, if you please, what are munchkins? The little people who live in this land. It's munchkin land, and you are now their national heroine. And who are you? Why, I'm Glinda, of course, the Witch of the North. Witch? But you're beautiful. Thank you. 
You see, only bad witches are ugly, and I'm a very good witch. Now, suppose I call the munchkin. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet her young lady. Have you nothing to say to her? Where's the mayor? Oh, there you are. Uh, first of all, Miss Dorothy, a little floral tribute. Oh, what beautiful flowers. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, there will be, of course, a parade and general celebration with a brass band and a regiment of cavalry. Meanwhile, oh, let the joyous news be spread. The wicked old witch at last is dead. <laughs> Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents, too. Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers. My sister's slippers. There they are. Still on our feet over there. Well, I'll just take them. Just a moment, if you please. Ruby slippers, slippers red, leave the feet of she who's dead. I summon my authority and bid you serve Miss Dorothy. The slippers. What are you doing to them? Now they're on my feet. You give them back to me. Never. There they are, and there they'll stay. You nasty little girl. They're of no use to you. Don't be frightened of it, darling. You stay out of this slender. I'll fix you as well. Rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. As for you, my fine lady... You heard what she said. Be gone. I'll get you yet, my pretty. And your little dog, too. Ha! <laughs> Away, broomstick! Away! It's all right, Munchkin. Don't hide your faces. She's gone. <laughs> now then, my dear, the sooner you get out of ours, the safer you'll sleep. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of ours. But how? Which is the way back to Kansas? Kansas? The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful... Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? Oh, very good, but very mysterious. He lives far off in the Emerald City. Uh, did you by any chance bring your broomstick with you? Uh, no, I'm afraid I didn't. Well, then you'll have to walk. The Munchkins will see you safely to the border. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet. Or you'll be at the mercy of the wicked witch of the West. But but how do I start for the Emerald City? All you have to do is follow that yellow brick road. Help our munchkins, the yellow brick road. Helpers, attention! Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is the wizard of wizards. If ever a wizard was, if ever a wizard was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. In a few moments, we'll bring you Act Two of The Wizard of Oz. 